Ahoy YouTube and welcome to part 3 of my HTML and CSS for Beginners series. If you've never built a website before, I strongly encourage you to go check out the last two videos. But of course you've watched the last two, so what are we waiting for? Let's go and learn all about paragraphs and headings. Ahoy YouTube and welcome to part 3 of my HTML and CSS for Beginners series. If you've never built a website before and you didn't see my other videos, I strongly encourage you to go check those last two ones out. But of course you've watched the last two, so what are we waiting for? Let's go and learn all about paragraphs and headings. So if you remember from the last video, uh, we got our my first website up here and that's all we did. And well now we're going to be looking at putting some real content on the page and looking at a couple of new tags. Uh, so we're going to be looking at doing paragraphs and something called headings. So we're going to start with a, a paragraph and just to show you why paragraphs are important. So we've got my first website and then why don't we just come down here and write uh, this is really cool. I'm building a, page, a web page. And I'm going to save that and I'm going to refresh and I bet you that's not quite what you expected to happen. Uh, so I have my first website and I have this is really cool. I'm building my web page and um, well, they're all on the same line, but I put a nice big space here. What's going on? Well, the, the problem is uh, the browser doesn't really know what this empty space is. The browsers pretty much ignore empty space. The only spaces they care about are the first one. So it's treating this whole thing here the same way as it's treating this one space here. Just to show you also, I could come here and put a whole bunch of spaces. Let's uh, save that. So file, save, and let's hit a refresh and it looks exactly the same. So the first space counts and after that they're all completely ignored. So if we want these to be different paragraphs, we actually have to tell the browser that we want them to be two different paragraphs. As you might have guessed, we have a tag for paragraphs. Our paragraphs are nice and easy. Uh, it's one of the easy ones to remember. You're going to be using them a lot. It's a P. So I put my little triangle brackets, I throw a P in there, and that's telling it that I'm starting my paragraph. Uh, but obviously if I save that and I refresh, you saw it move down a little bit, but nothing really changes. Uh, so when I do my paragraph, I also need to tell it that I'm closing my paragraph. So this is the end of my paragraph. So I do that, the slash, and I put my P and I'll hit save. So command or control S and I'll refresh. And there we go. I have two separate paragraphs now. This first, these tags are telling it this paragraph is ending. It's going to come down and start the next one. And all of our text should end up being uh, in a paragraph tag. Now there's more than just paragraphs with a website. There's also what we call headings. So headings are um, a hierarchical, a hierarchical, hierarchical, hierarchical. They, 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 they pretty much go from most important to least important. Uh, so let's take a look at what those would look like. Let's just come down. Uh, we have six heading tags. So we have and you know a heading we have paragraphs headings but no it's not just h we have six so it's an h1 uh, i'll just write heading one in there whoops heading one close h1 and let's save that and refresh over here and see what we got and there's my heading one and you can see it's big it's bold it's much bigger than the text over here so you know it's more important a heading is more important than a paragraph so by default, the browser's making it bigger, it's making it bold, it's making it stand out. So you can take a guess. I have a heading two. And I'm going to save and just take a little guess at what that might do and see if you were right. So a heading two, as you probably assumed, is less important than heading one. So it's still big, it's still bold, but it's just not as big and bold as my heading one. And let's go through and do all of them. And okay, so I got my six headings there. Let's hit save and let's hit refresh. And you can see uh, they're all bold and they go down in sort of descending order of size. Uh, the thing that's really important about headings is they actually have um, an actual importance to them. Google is looking at them. It knows that a heading one is probably more important than a heading two and a heading three. So it takes that into consideration when it's reading the text on your site as well. Um, so there's real meaning behind the headings. It's not just a visual representation. You're really saying this text is more important. And that is something that's important to know. Now things to not do. Um, one thing you do not want to do, h7, 
there is no h7. Uh, so I'm going to save that and refresh and you'll see it looks just like a paragraph. So don't do h7, h8, h9. Um, it just, you have one to six. And uh, I've also seen people do things like p1. This is my first paragraph. Close p1. And then p2. This is my second paragraph. Close p2. Uh, so let's save that and refresh. And oh, right away, you can see why you don't want to be doing this. It's not working. It doesn't know what the heck an h7 is or what a p1 or p2 are they're not real tags so we can't use them they're not going to work properly and i understand why people do it we have h1 to h6 so why don't we have an h7 and if we have h1s down to h6s why can't i number my paragraphs too but it just doesn't work that way all of my paragraphs are just p tags and my headings i can choose from my h1 to my h6 and that's all that we can choose from so that's a nice short video, just looking at how we can start putting content on our page. We can start writing some stuff. So try it out, see how it goes for you. Uh, I don't think I'll get too many questions on this one, but if you do have any, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and have yourselves a great day.